Hey everybody, Matt Day here, and today I'm going to talk about what the best Camp Studio settings for YouTube videos are. I just started using Camp Studio myself, and I noticed once I uploaded my videos to YouTube, that's when they would go to low quality and be fuzzy and distorted looking. So I did some research and did some testing myself and found a solution which I'm going to share with you right now. I'm currently recording live with Camp Studio, so I took a picture earlier of my settings, and here they are. As you can see, I'm using Microsoft Video One. Now everyone uh, recommends using the lossless, uh, the Cam Studio lossless codec volume 1.2 or something. I tried that; it doesn't work on my computer, so I use Microsoft Video One. Quality I have set at 100. Keyframes 200. Capture frames every five milliseconds, and playback rate at 200. I have the auto adjust clicked on, and max frame rate I have all the way to the left. Now my other features are pretty much all on default settings. Okay, so the only thing I do have here is fixed region. If you record with a full screen, I noticed um, it uses a lot more space. So if you're making longer videos, I suggest you use a fixed region. Everything else I have pretty much at default, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, I noticed with the options anyways. The next thing I'm going to show you is what made the biggest difference in getting a higher quality YouTube video. Now after you rec you know recorded and saved your on-screen recording onto your computer somewhere, desktop, file, whatever, then before you upload to YouTube you need to uh, shrink it down to size, smaller size before you upload it to YouTube. Like if you did it right now, just from the the file that you saved directly from Cam Studio, it would take a long time, it could take like an hour or two hours just to do a little two minute video. You have to shrink it down before you upload it to YouTube. And the, what I use is um, Windows Movie Maker. So after you record your screen and you save it on your computer, then you need to go pop up something like Windows Movie Maker or something similar and you need to pull up your video. I made a little test video and this is where you need a uh, it'll make the most difference on quality for a YouTube video. See, then you drag it down here. And publish it to this computer. This is where it makes the biggest difference right here. You need to go all the way down to the more settings and use Windows Media VHS quality 1.0 megabytes per second. That I found, that setting right there was the best. It keeps it small and at the same time it's at still records at a good quality for it to upload to YouTube to be good quality. So then you hit publish and then it will be ready to upload to YouTube. Um, the quality of the video will be what you're seeing right now. Like I said, I'm recording live with Cam Studio, so this is the quality that you will get, which is pretty good. So that's all my settings and that's all my tips to get a higher quality video. The main thing that made a difference to me was that last part, was when you're shrinking down the size of the file before you upload it to YouTube. Make it at least 1.0 megabytes per second. Anything smaller, anything bigger, wasn't working for me very well. Thanks for watching my video, and until next time, have a good one.